Hey there, welcome back. I'm Deanna with Pearl Together, and this week I want to just give you a couple of tips that I use when I knit lace. We're doing the Hap Cowl Knit Along by Ella Gordon. We've been enjoying the garter stitch section and all the TV knitting that can go along with that. That's been pretty meditative and relaxing and a lot of fun. Now we're getting into the lace section, and this is a super simple feather and fan lace. It's also sometimes called the old shale, which I believe was the original term. Somebody will correct me on that if I'm wrong, but it's very similar. The two patterns, if they're not exactly alike, are very, very similar. So all this involves is a decrease and some yarn over. So it's a knit two together decrease and a yarn over. And it's not super complicated, but it does require that you pay attention a little bit. So I'm going to give you uh, just a little quick tutorial on how I'm working through that. And before we get started, though, I want to give a big thank you and express my appreciation to six new patrons recently. Thank you so much for joining the Patreon community for Pearl Together and supporting these videos coming to you each and every week. So a big shout out to Carol, Maureen, Janet, Suzanne, Georgiana, and Suzette. Thanks so much for joining over at patreon.com forward slash pearl together. Check it out and you can see what benefits I'm offering for your small monthly pledge. All right, let's get to it. All right, as you can see, I am in the middle of my lace row, but I'm at the beginning of the chart. So the beginning of our chart be starts out with three knit two together. So three decreases. And you can certainly put a marker at the beginning of each chart repeat and that way that would help you to double check that you have everything correct. So three, knit two together, then you're gonna yarn over, knit one, and you're gonna do that five and a half times. So actually you're gonna have six yarn overs and five regular knits. So I count the yarn overs in this section. So that's one, two, three, knit one, four, knit one, five, knit one, six. So there's my six yarn overs, and I always go back and double check because I tend to get interrupted a lot, and I just want to make sure it's right so I don't have to tink back 357 stitches, or 255 if you're using the pattern recommendation. So one, I do, I'm just counting the yarn overs here, which you can easily tell. There's one, two, three, four, five, and the one I just made is six. And then we'll have six knit two togethers because you'll have three more for this chart repeat and then three at the beginning of the next chart repeat. So you're going to do three and then place your marker if you're using markers to delineate your chart repeats. Or since I'm not, I'm just going to count six of those knit two togethers. And this uh, yarn is sometimes slightly splitty, so I'm just being careful about that. Since I'm talking, I need to go back and double check. Okay, so there's my last yarn over. You can see that. There's my last yarn over right there. One, two, three is the end of that first chart repeat. Four, five, six is the beginning of the next, the first three stitches of the next chart repeat. And if I was doing, you know, I could put a marker right here if I wanted to. So what I have found is that I go along and I, I think of it in terms of sections of six. So I do six Whoopsie, I'm talking and I should have. I do six of the knit two togethers and then I do six yarn overs with single knit stitches between. So you can think of it however you want, but it's helpful to just develop a pattern of, of that for yourself so you can cruise right along and not have to, you know, constantly look at the chart for every single stitch. Okay, so you can easily tell there's my yarn over. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll have my six knit two together decreases. Okay, so that's easy enough. And then the rest of it is just back and forth garter stitch and Netflix knitting. So that's pretty cool. So I'm really li enjoying how this is turning out and I'm liking using the minis. Um, so that's lovely. So uh, next video, we'll have an interview with the designer, Ella Gordon. So that'll be a lot of fun later this week. The only other thing I'll mention is at the beginning of the row, um, I'm leaving a good 
you know, six or seven inch tail here because it's, you know, it's sloppy at the beginning. You can tell that. And so I've just been kind of giving everything a little tug and I go back and, you know, I will um, snug all this up when we do the sewing, but just make sure to leave yourself enough of a, a tail that nothing's going to pull out. Like, right. You wouldn't want to leave just a, a one inch little tag here, you know, leave yourself enough of a tail that we're going to use to sew this together with. Now, the other thing I'll point out is if you go along, you do not come out quite right at the end. Like, let's say instead of having uh, three knit two togethers at the end, you only end up with two or you end up with four. Or obviously, something's wrong. That's one advantage to having stitch markers between each repeat is that you can physically go back and look at what you're doing and say, OK, well, I have six yarn overs and I have six two to knit two togethers. And I know that this section between this marker and this marker, these 17 stitches I know are correct before you move forward. So that can be a real time saver, even though it seems tedious at the time, to check each section as you knit it. It just eliminates uh, potential tinking or tearing back later. And it also helps to you to learn to read your knitting as well. And I will say that even though I don't specifically have markers between each section of 17, I definitely am still going back and double checking and counting my yarn overs and my knit two together. So even though I don't have markers delineating those sections, I'm absolutely double checking each time. Okay, I hope you find this video is helpful. Give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel, head over to Patreon and become a patron if you're able to. If not, simply sharing with your friends, giving a thumbs up, it help, all of it helps. So thank you so much for watching. Keep in mind, you're welcome to join the Facebook and Ravelry Pearl Together groups. I'd love to see your photos over there. And we are running the official knit along, including the prize giveaways over on the Ravelry thread. So check that out if you're interested. Thanks for watching.